fed up. Zara angrily screaming at Harry's face for overshadowing Queen, you have to stop Meghan. As the royals lurch from one controversy to the next, one member of the family has so far managed to stay out of the limelight and on good terms with everyone, the Queen's first granddaughter, Zara Tyndall. As no nonsense as they come, 40-year-old Zara has inherited her mum's business-like attitude and dedicated work ethic, but even she's had just about enough of Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. New ID understands fed up Zara plans to have a firm word with her younger cousin, after the Sussex's latest spate of controversial moves, including Meghan confirming she's launching her Spotify podcast series in June, which will compete for column inches against the Queen's Jubilee. Meanwhile, Harry, 37, has launched yet another lawsuit against a UK newspaper, this time claiming the Mail on Sunday injured his feelings by reporting that he never legitimately promised to pay for his family's security when they returned to the UK from California. He claims he did, at a meeting in Sandringham in January 2020, which was also reportedly attended by the monarch, Prince Charles and Prince William, leading some insiders to suggest lawyers might try to call them as witnesses. This was the final straw for Zara, who is incredibly close with her grandmother and can't stand seeing Harry and Meghan playing games during the twilight of her life, says a source. She's tried to sit back quietly and not take sides as the rest of her cousins have battled it out, but one thing she won't hear of is having her grandmother's platinum jubilee celebrations overshadowed by a podcast from California. She wants to tell Harry to pull his head in and stop Meghan from doing something so blatantly conniving. The source adds, Harry and Meghan have had this Spotify podcast deal up their sleeves, sitting dormant, for almost two years. So why choose the same month as the Queen's Jubilee celebrations to release it? It doesn't sit right with Zara at all. A palace insider says Zara's intervention echoes her own mother Princess Anne's protectiveness of the Queen. The rest of the family is very relieved that Zara is finally preparing to step in, because everyone knows Harry will listen to her, says the source. She very much takes after her mum and won't tolerate nonsense, and the thought of anyone ruining what is likely to be the Queen's last hurrah is unacceptable to Zara. Meanwhile, about Meghan's podcast, royal fans have reportedly raised some questions about Meghan Markle's first podcast series with Spotify. Some netizens are said to have claimed that she likely copied the idea from a book. The International News released a report on the matter, detailing the assertions. As noted, this comes after Spotify and Archul Audio have announced the launch of Archetypes, a podcast series that the Duchess of Sussex will host. Several individuals were reportedly quick to notice that the title of the material is the same as Caroline Miss's published book, Archetypes, Who Are You? This, then, led them to speculate whether the former working royal plagiarized the work of the American author. One commentator even allegedly went as far as to assert that the former actress likely read the book and copied her entire podcast idea from it. It is worth noting, however, that archetypes, who are you centers on the ten primary archetypes that the author says to have emerged in society today. The podcast series of Meghan Markle, Archetypes, investigates the labels that try to hold women back, according to Deadline. As per the official announcement, she will engage with historians and experts to uncover the origin of these stereotypes. Also, she will have uncensored conversations with women who know all too well how these typecasts shape narratives. Several discussions have since emerged about the upcoming podcast series. Virgin Radio presenter Steve Denyer claimed that the Duchess of Sussex is receiving $18 million for the pilot episode of the podcast, according to Express UK. In his conversation with talk radio presenter Jeremy Kyle, they seemingly slammed the venture, with the latter even calling it useless.